and okay, you, you can leave it open oh, for now. Yeah. We could just have a quick chat. Uh, do you have uh, some experience driving already? No, at all. No, no, nothing. No. Have you been sitting next to a driver driving before? Yeah, my parents drive. Yeah, so I've been a, I'm a good passenger. So you like have uh, an idea of what it's going on, about the traffic, something else, you know, just, just briefly. Yeah, well, yeah, I ride a push bike. Well, you ride a push you bike. Know, that's good. You you've been a pedestrian. You've seen traffic. What's happening there? So yeah, you have a clue. Okay, okay. So I don't know how good I am. Though, but yeah, that's why we are here. Yeah? Yeah. We will make sure you will be good. Okay, you'll you'll get there. So, yeah. and, so because you, you want to learn how to drive, yeah. why would you want to do that? Well, it's just like, I want to do it before I go to college, university. Yep. So um, it'd be handy when I get a job. Yeah. So it's living in, in Norfolk, you have to travel everywhere. Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, that, that's really why I know else, yeah, but just, yeah, yeah, everyone learns to drive, don't they? Well, yeah, everyone, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, I just want to do it while I'm young, while I've got the time to do uh -huh. it. So you have to do it, yeah, okay. And when you were applying for a driver's license, were you thinking like, yeah, I might not pass a test or, you know, be afraid of the exams or something? I don't like exams. You don't like exams? Yeah. I don't think anyone does. What if, what if we can skip that, like, there will be exam, but what if we don't think about that because you should learn for life, not for the exam. The exam is just to prove that you know and you can drive. Yeah. So what if we focus on that and make it as a girl like that? You want to do it for yourself yeah. and just focus on, on what you want, yeah. not what the examiner wants. Uh, okay, I, I might say at certain times that, uh, yeah, this is what, this is the way examiner might ask you certain things and all that, just so you have an idea, uh, just, just yeah. for exam. It's very little details, like the way they speak and that. Other than that, yeah, you want to learn to drive because you're doing it for yourself. Happy with that? Good, yeah. okay. So, yeah. we're going to drive to location now and I'm going to I'm gonna show you, a demonstrate uh, what we're going to learn today. Um, do you want to have a go on on driving as well today? What do you imagine to do? What do you what are you expecting from today's lesson? Yeah, yeah, have a drive. Yeah, you want to have a drive, yeah? Quiet yeah. road day, not a busy one. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah well, I'm gonna drive you to some uh, quiet roads. Yeah. Ni nice quiet and uh, you know, uh, oh, right, yeah. quite wide. So that'll that'll be fine. And cool. um Yeah, I'm gonna demonstrate what we're gonna do today. So what okay. we what we do by the end of today, we will learn how to move off and stop the car. So we all have a handle on a little bit of a steering. Yeah. The controls, all the other controls, may, maybe indicator, hopefully we will get there. And um, you can probably see I uh, there are pedals there. So those are for me. Please don't use them. Just be careful when I'm driving no, no, the, not no. to push them. All right, because yeah. they're for me to, in case I, I would want to help you. So there's a brake pedal and um, uh, a clutch for me. Have you heard of the pedals before? Do you, do you, do you know what they are? Oh, you just... <laughs> I see it did I? I think it is. Is it this way? I don't know. Can Bad you please do it for me? Yeah, I'll, um, I'm just going to press... Um, uh, oh, that's... When the ignition... If you could just um, turn the ignition on. So my dad's got a car like this, so no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. By pressing hold that. Good. The system off. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Thank you, Paul. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Um. So have you heard of the pedals? What, which pedals? Got the what? accelerator, yeah? the brake, and oh. the clutch pedal. Oh, that's cool. Great. Yeah, Can absolutely. I borrow your thing? Sorry. Absolutely, yeah. Help yourself <laughs> anytime. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. Mm. And... Um, a uh, gear lever. Called gear. gear lever? Yeah, that <laughs> works. <laughs> okay. yeah. Uh, yeah. Um yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna drive to the location and I'll show you actually what I do and how I how I do it. Uh -huh. And when we get to the location, we'll swap and you'll have a go on it and you'll give it give it, give it a try yourself. Okay? So it's yeah. So it's, okay. <laughs> Lovely, yeah, brilliant. 
So I'm also going to show you how to set up the uh, the seats so you so you actually see it. So I will depress the clutch fully down so my knee is slightly bent. Uh, okay. So like that probably, but I still have to reach a little bit, which is not really good. So I will move it a bit more forward so I can press my back against the seat. And now it's way better. Because you know, if, if you can't put, if you can't push it uh, completely down, you might have you have you heard of stalling? Yeah. yeah. So that might happen because the clutch is not completely down, and you know it's, it's just like it's okay. awkward to happen. Okay. So this way we will make sure that I can comfortably depress the clutch, and the other pedals will be okay. before so I'm deeper it's only great now uh, so don't worry about that. Okay. So I'm gonna do my seat belt. Mirrors are okay. So um what we're gonna do today is that we will um learn a cockpit drill. Have you heard of it? Yeah, is that when you like you get in and you move your seat? Yes. Your so you, yeah. So you prepare the car and yourself uh, to drive comfortably and safely. So yeah. So what I did, yeah, I set up my uh, seat. Uh, I checked the door. Well, I didn't, but we'll we'll get through that later. Okay, so there's yeah. a there's a specific way to get through that. So you'll absolutely show you you do everything properly. Okay. Uh, yeah, the steering, uh, that is fine because I can see the dials and also I can fully reach, I can comfortably reach the, the steering uh, throughout the whole circumference of the, of the steering, of the wheel. Yeah. So there's nothing in the way. And yeah, well, don't worry about the head, head restraints because this is uh, All right, just yeah. the way it is, we can't really set it. So that's just okay, the way it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so we will have also go on the gear change. So what 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 you're gonna do when you wanna uh, change the gear is depress the clutch, and then you will change the gear. And see the way I do it. Have you heard of palming method? So yeah, right. that's that's a, that's a very very good method to help you if you wanna change the gear and make sure that you will put it into the gear you want to because. Here is a neutral in the middle, oh, yeah. and there is a spring. So when you put it on the side, it will come back. Ah, okay. So this way, you can make sure before you start off or before before you start the engine that you actually have it on in neutral. Because if you get into the speed, if you can in the uh, a gear, it's not the same. It's it's quite stiff. So when you go back to the neutral, you'll see the difference. Um, you have you want to go on it? You want to try? Oh, oh, well, actually, I, I, I from don't the other side. Yeah, yeah, the, uh... yeah, sure. Okay. So, yeah. So, the palming method is pretty much like uh, the palm um, pushing against where you go. So, the, the first gear goes to left up, the second gear down. And then we, we can use uh, the spring. So, I'll just put it back and goes back to neutral to third gear. So, that's probably the most gears we do, we'll do today rest we'll, we'll do later and we'll have a go on it when we get to the location. Okay. Okay, you can. So that's yeah, nice. brilliant. Okay, so yeah, we can start. And steering, by the way. So the best way to steer is, uh, I can show you actually on the way, but maybe I'm not sure, uh, is when I'm about to steer, I'm either on, uh, uh, on uh, 10 to 2, or a quarter to three. Oh, you, know, right. you know the clock, you know, 10 to two or quarter yeah. to three. It's entirely up to you how you want to use it, if that or that, whatever is more comfortable for you. But uh, yeah, the best way to steer is when there's nothing around us. I'll show you. To So I'm going to turn right and prefer my hand on the top of the steer, steering. Uh, so there's the method called pull and push. So you'll pull and then push when you stay to the right. And the other, and when you want to go to the left, the other hand, left hand goes 
left pull, pull and then push, so like this. So I'm gonna go to the right. Just integrating. So my hand on the top and pull and push. So this way I can oh, steer see, easily. Yeah. And sorry, yeah, she does. <laughs> Thank you. The same thing sorry. the other way. Yeah, that's my fault. I was supposed to check that. Oh, was it? So, I just forgot. Sorry, I forgot to put it on. So the same thing here. Pull, push, nice and easy. Oh, yeah. sorted. Now the second gear, as you see, the palming method. This is that second gear, and now I'm going to turn right back to the neutral and third gear. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask. Okay, yeah. There's no such thing as stupid questions, only that question oh. that is not asked. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's given. So, you said that you're uh, riding a push bike. Do you, do you uh, ride a push bike a lot? Or yeah, I've got, I've got a road bike. Yeah. Um, yeah, I use it to go to college and. Well, I don't want to do it in winter because yeah, it's quite I'd like I'd have a paper. I don't know if it's possible to try and get the test for the winter. Right, right. Okay, we'll try our best to do that. And do you also have some opportunity to drive some car at home, like your mum's or dad's car, or someone's car? I will do later. You will do later when you actually know something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Well, but not yet. They want me to, you know, learn to control the car and before I, yeah, sure. you know, but for practice, yeah, they'd like me to to get me on the insurance. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. But yeah, just to so help me nearer to when I do need to do my driving test. Right. But not yet. Okay, that's good. So, so everything is pretty much sorted. Your insurance, your car, you will be insured for the car. Maybe. Well, yeah, we're going to so, insure my mum's car because right. she's got a Fiesta. Fiesta. Big like what I probably buy. Okay. So the difference between this car and Fiesta is, uh, for instance, a uh, handbrake. That's why I didn't show you the handbrake because here it's an electric, so you can learn the electric. But uh, on yeah, the yeah, my mum's electric one. It's got a little. Oh, is it? Yeah. Awesome. So, so we'll pretty much do the same thing. I've got a question. Yes, good. Because I was asking my dad about stuff, because mm -hmm. he was trying to help me with the thing. I asked him a question about roundabouts. Yes. And, um, when you're like going ahead, do you, do you have to like stay in your lane, or do you, can you cut through the lanes? It depends on the roundabout. So if like this roundabout has two lanes, so you should stay, as, as you can see the truck, He's trying to stay in his left uh, side, uh, okay. trying to keep his lane in case I want to overtake him. So you probably saw that, yeah, I didn't overtake him before. It's because not all truck drivers are doing it. Sometimes you can't really count on the fact that they should follow the rules. Uh, okay. uh, we'll, we'll definitely do that. We'll get to that later because the first lesson is about, you know, yeah. you having a handle. It, it just made me think because my mum and dad had a bit yeah. of an, not an argument, but they were discussing it. Uh -huh. Because yeah, my dad yeah. sort of straight and my mum goes round and my mum was saying they especially round. Right. Yeah it's good that you have questions so much ahead because it gives me an idea that you are quite like excited, interested in it. It's pretty good. So now we're gonna take this mini roundabout. We're gonna do the same thing and I just wanna to show you the steering again. So I'm just gonna put my hand on top to make it easier for me. And steer it's nice and easy. Uh -huh. and then back. Yeah. 
gitu ya. Now when I'm going to stop, I'm just gonna use a brake and then deep press the clutch and keep keep my hands on the steering until I fully stop and then uh, park brake neutral and relax all the way to uh, oh, it's secure the handbrake over there. Yes, that's ah. but if you if you deep press the yeah. brake good enough, it will come with a halt. So it's like a handbrake when, when okay. you wanna so stop just for you know a couple of seconds or when you want to you know. Okay, any questions on that? Uh, You're going to show no. me in a minute, you know, yourself, how, how could you do that? So I'll be here to help you. Yeah, it's my dad's car's got one of, I could, you know, like one of those handbrakes. That right? Yeah. It might be nice if you get a hand on uh, more cars, so, so, you know, you'll be more experienced with all kinds of cars if you want to. But in time, you know, don't, you don't have to push it. So that's up to you, really. So as you see, there's a common courtesy. You've probably seen other people waving, like, thank you, yeah, you're welcome. Oh, right, that's yeah. just a polite thing to say, yeah, thanks for the cooperation. My dad said you shouldn't like wave people on and stuff. So, that, do you know why? Well, because they might not be safe, but you got to let them make their own way Because when I'm on my exactly. bike, people yeah. often like wave me out. Yeah. I always think, well, I don't trust them. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's very good. Yeah, because like everybody should follow the rules, but you know, people can make mistakes. They're just humans. Yeah. And you can't really count on, on that. You just make sure you're safe. If it's Everybody's safe, safe, I'd go, but yeah. sometimes people wave, but they don't realise there's another car coming towards uh -huh. me. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah you can go that you know that. Go. That's good to you now, to tell you that. Okay, so my hand's still on the steering. Uh, oh, I can show the hold, but we are going to stop for now. So this is the whole edge of oh, the bus. Yeah. So if so if I want to wait just on the light or something, you're not going to wait on the lights today, so don't worry about that. But yeah, so I'm just going to put the brake. So that's, now it's on, as you can see in here, the warning light. And now out of the gear, uh, cancel the indicator and relax. That's all, yeah? Okay. So, okay, um, do you want to swap? And do you want to have a go on the steering? Yeah. And so, okay, and before you get out, I'm just going to show you something. What, uh, uh, have you, um, when you're going to open the car, the, 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 the door, is there any danger that may occur if you open the door or something like that? Yeah. A car might be coming. Yeah, exactly. If so, you're on that so can, side. Yeah, on that side. Or what about a dog. That side? A dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, a dog. dog. Yeah. Pretty much anything. You, you, can't really, you can't really expect anything. There are all kinds of things, people, cars, motorcycles. Yeah. You know, scooters, whatever, anything can come to. So, you know, it's. Uh, so, um, so if it's difficult to predict, that's why it's always good to check to make sure. So, if you if you want to check, where would you where would you look to make in, sure you can the, open the door in the mirror? In the mirror, yeah, that's that's very good. Where, where else? I don't know. Have you heard of? Uh, well, thing? if I was sitting this side, I wouldn't normally have this mirror. Uh -huh. So, oh, I was just looking that one. Right, okay. and, and up the up the footpath. Right, so you know what? Uh, do you know what's peripheral vision? Yeah, yeah. So, like, say, I I have this pen here. So, try to focus ahead, uh, look ahead, and tell me if you can see this pen wiggling. I can see it when you move it. Yeah. Okay. Can you see it now? When you move it. Yeah. Still. So, so that's peripheral vision, and you can actually spot things that are there. So we have an idea that oh, something. Something is happening there inside, so we can check it properly. Mm -hmm. So that's all you can see. That and you, what you can yeah. see in your mirrors. So yeah, what we, about did, we did that in biology, like um, mm -hmm. some. Uh, what was it? It's one animal we did the other day. Yes. Um, their eyes, they can see 180 degrees. Right. Well, we can only be that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I forget what it was. I don't know. It was a cat. 
something like you can see like no there is here that's it no, i'm getting rid of that oh right yeah but yeah no we've because done about peripheral vision yeah. there's a chamele chameleon that can that's it uh, the eyes from that the side one. so they can see yeah, all that, yeah. yeah but we are unfortunately no chameleons chameleons so we have to turn our head and now can just turn its head right around yeah. and it's, oh, no. so <laughs> what you can't yeah so we, what you can't see looking yeah. ahead is called blind spot have you heard of it so that's, yeah. so that's all that's not covered in your vision and in your mirrors. So when you want to check the uh, blind spot, where would you look? Over, you, there. Yeah, over your shoulder, over one there. side. Okay, yeah, brilliant. All, all right round there. Yeah, so yeah. Can't see so you make me. sure you see everything around the car. Yeah, so that's good. Uh -huh. So if you want to do that, and before that, also there's this, uh, like it's not particularly windy day, but in case it is windy, it's good to uh, to open the car, uh, to um, grab the door with your left, with your uh, the opposite hand. Because that way you have a good grip, and if it's windy day, you can hold on the, the door much easier. Oh, and yeah. also, because you you have to reach there, it makes you turn. Oh yeah. And because it makes you turn, you you're like, oh yeah, there's okay. something happening in the blind spot, so you just can check it. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's. Okay. And if you could wait for me on the uh, uh, footpath, please. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> So, um, so you want to drive today, which is really good because we are going to do just that. Uh, so, what would you say if we uh, learn how to move off, have a have a little ride, just just a bit further away from here, and then stop? Yeah. In there. Yeah. Exciting. Good. Uh, so we'll do that. But before, uh, as you mentioned, as, as we mentioned before, we have to do some uh, some checks. Do you remember what's it called? Blind spot. Yeah, blind spots and everything that's like over there. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, over yeah. that one, yeah. Okay. Um I have a visual for everything to make uh to make it clearer what we are actually doing. Which is this. So the best thing uh, to remember what we have to do in the cockpit drill is uh to remember uh the uh this um mnemonic for instance uh D S S S M or D triple S M. That stands for doors, seat, steering, seat belt, mirrors. So you were yeah. talking about, uh, I was talking about the uh, the seat, steering. Uh, you almost forgot the seat belt, but uh, you remembered, which is good. And then uh, we were talking about mirrors already. So the first thing, can you can you check? Oh, I didn't do that sound. Oh, okay. So like when you didn't close the door properly, what can you do now? Can you see how? How it is right now. It's not lined up. It's not lined up, yeah. So we'll check again and close it properly. You see that it's properly lined up. So that way you can check on this side or even on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that way you can find out if the doors are properly closed or if it rattles. Yeah, also uh, the, the interior uh, lights would be on and would tell you uh, there would be warning light on dashboard as well. So there are all kinds of things that would give you a clue, but yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, my mum's part knows that. Mm -hmm. The yeah. doors aren't shut. Yeah, we were talking about There's the a warning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We were talking about the Dutch reach, so you know already how to. What's that? Oh, did I not say it's Dutch reach? Okay, so it's a Dutch reach, it's called this when we uh, oh, okay. use our opposite hand to make, to turn the torso and see properly there and so i can have a proper handle on and the dutch doors. as in dutch holland dutch yes yes ah, okay. i have no idea what they call it that way maybe they invented it no i had it i had that um mm -hmm. on the german vine chain yeah because because i'm a cyclist mm -hmm. okay. they, they, a lot of cyclists get killed um, yeah because um and well rarely killed but Often injured, Happens, yeah. but this guy actually, like, yeah, fatality. Someone on it opened the door, um, and a, and a, a cyclist going quite quick, yeah, hit, hit. And they were talking about it. And in Holland, they they um they do that twist, yeah, 
they teach their kids to do it, so they're always looking out for cyclists. And yes. also, it's oh, right. handy on a windy day. That's very good. Yeah, I didn't know about that. That's good. Well, yeah, I never so, heard of it, and then they met me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that, was, that was a couple of weeks ago. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, they're actually uh, right now. They are changing uh, highway code, so there'll be there will be a few changes about that as well. I'm, mm. I didn't check it properly, but uh, okay. we'll talk about it when I have a proper view about that. So it's all about cyclists and all that. So this is what we were talking about. Oh wait, better come in. So yeah, so uh, we have the doors, so you know that you have to close it properly. And do you know whose responsibility it is to have the doors properly closed? Um, uh, I guess ultimately the driver. Yeah, exactly, driver. Because you're going to drive the car, you're in, in charge of it. Uh -huh. You're responsible, so always yeah. check. Also, when when you have uh, other passengers uh, jumping out of the, of the car, it's it's probably good to check them, perhaps stop them if you see that something is coming and they want to open the door, just to make sure you know, somehow organize it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, okay. I think that's what that accident was about. Is it in a taxi? Mm -hmm. And the taxi driver probably should have told the passengers so because it was on a cycle lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I think they were getting out of that side, and there was a cycle lane up the left. Right. And the taxi dropped off, and they opened the door and whack. Oh, yeah. That's pretty yeah. ugly. So yeah, you definitely want to, you know, be safe. Yeah. And make you know make sure that. So yeah, well, I was thinking as a driver, I'd say if you were getting out, I'd say wait. Jogger, we'll look out for the jogger. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. yeah, that's nice. If he was coming up there high, then anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So, next thing is the seat. Yeah. Have you ever adjusted your seat? Do you know how? No. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> yeah, okay, you good. Do, yeah. Do so, so, you remember what I did uh, last, uh, when uh, before we moved? You got a bend how in the knee. Yeah, yeah. You press the close with your left foot, yeah. Oh. Is that right? Okay. So is it is it fully down? Are you trying to reach with your body, or are you are you comfortably sitting back? Maybe it's because it seems like you're reaching a little bit or not. I don't, I'm not sure. That feels you better. need to feel it. That's better. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So you can uh, depress the clutch fully down comfortably. Yeah. Yeah? yeah, you don't have to make any effort for that. Good. Yeah. yeah no, so that's, that's fine. I felt a bit close before, but it's yeah. more comfy now. Do you, do you feel like the height is okay for you? The height of the seats. Yeah. The base. Yeah. So that's good. That was good. Next yeah. thing is uh, your back support. Do you feel comfortable this way when you're sitting back or you want to be more in the, to the front or to well, the back? I don't know. Actually, it's pretty comfortable. Yeah. I see that you already know how to set it. Good. Well, yeah, my mum's... Well, yeah. my, my mum's car has got an electric seat, but my dad's car uh -huh. is like one of these twisty things. Fancy, yeah. Good. So is this the way you feel comfortable? Well, so where am I passenger? If I ain't got my brother in the back, I'll put it right back, but uh -huh. like that. that's okay. how I'd see it. Right. Now we will get to the steering. So when you're happy with your seat, uh, can you reach the steering? Like uh, 10 to 2 or quarter to 3? How does it feel when you go all around? Can you, can you reach it comfortably? Yeah. Are you happy with it? Yeah. And when you put your... Um, wrists on the top of the steering. Can you do that? Yeah. But you're reaching. Oh. So can you? Like, so that's that's how we know that if if you if you're feeling comfortable this way, it's it's okay. But now we have to uh, set the steering. So if you if you reach uh, this thing, oh, yeah, there. Oh, yeah. So you can set, and you can also set the reach. Okay. Like the way, so you should see the dial. So when you're sitting back. Yeah. You should see the dials, all the dials in the steering, within the steering, so it would be framed with the steering wheel. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Right, yeah. It's okay? Yeah. So you feel comfortable this way? Okay. So we said that uh, um, <laughs> the head restraint is it's, uh, it's firm, so there's nothing we can do about it. But if you sit in some other car, it might be good to, to set it. They you know slide how to up and down, and yeah. there's a little button. Yeah. Do you know how would you set it? Um, I'd imagine, say, it, your head sits on it. Yeah. How how it is how it is set up correctly for you. So yeah, just so it's behind your head. I think. Well, pretty much, yeah. So there's this rigid part or the middle part should be aligned with your top of the ears or eyes. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe some some people say like the top should be with the top of your head. 
Uh-huh. So we have the maximum uh, protection possible. Do you know why is it good for? What is it good for? To have the head it restraint. Your head in, yeah. Um, yeah, it protects your head. It's like a safety thing. Yeah, to prevent uh, whiplash yeah. and injury of your neck. Yeah. yeah. In case uh, there is a an impact from the from. The, yeah. Uh, from our front. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that. Um, so next one, we have a seat belt. So when you want to reach the seat belt, good, you, you do that well, okay? And also when you want to click it in and make sure it's all flat. Like like this. So so if it's not flat, if it, if it's twisted like this, do you know do you know what can happen in case of in, in case of uh, collision? Um, would it not like work properly? Uh it will be working properly, that that's that's fine. The only yeah. thing that happens when when your body would want to move to the front because uh, the car will stop. Uh, it's it's uh, because it's not flat enough. There'll be less surface to protect you, so it might might like dip in and injure you even more. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's really important to remember to oh, okay. to do that. And also, yeah. when you when you want to remove the seat belt, make sure you hold it all the way, not just flick it there because you can uh, break the glass. So lead it all the way there and, and until you're happy. Yep. Oh, yeah, I that. Okay. That. Yeah, exactly. Or yours in the future. So that. So now, when you're sitting comfortably, uh, we we make we need to make sure you see everything properly. So uh, to set up your mirrors. So we have a center mirror or middle mirror. You can call it whatever you want, uh, as long as we know what it is. And your door mirrors. So can you tell me now what do you see in your center mirror? say there's a car coming it's just gone down that old dip right so so the best way to to set it to uh, the center mirror is so you see the back window like framed in it so you see all the corners there do you see them all or or would you have to uh, without without moving your head much because you and i see that you're doing it with your left hand not no so, fingerprints that's that's great yeah yeah, uh, yeah good so corners. you see all the corners yeah, yeah. good and what about the uh, door mirrors? What you uh, like? Um, if you if you check this picture, so the best way to, to set them up is to see a part, maybe like fifteen percent or a thumb width of your car, and uh, and this line stands for like in the middle, like uh, so the street should be halfway half down, half yeah, and half, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, you see yeah. all that? Yeah, good. Yeah. And do you see the same thing on the left mirror? That I can see more road than sky. Yeah. Do you want to set it up? That, one. that one's all right. Yeah, so if you want to set it up, just click the, the start button just once. This one? Yeah, just to turn the ignition on. And that way, now you are... Uh, oh, is it now this all thing? this works, yeah, so it's like joysticks. So do you know how to work that? Yeah. So you click the left, yes. Got a PlayStation. Oh, good, yes, like yes. This, like the D pad. Like, uh mm-hmm. exactly. So when you're happy. So, okay. So, is, yeah. so, yeah. So, when you check your center mirror, um, you said that you've seen some car there, but there's uh, there's no car now. What can we see that? He's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's gone, unfortunately. But uh, when you check your center mirror, uh, you see. Uh, okay, there are trees, whatever is there. And when you check one of your uh, um, door mirrors, can you see difference in the pictures, in the picture that you see? Yeah. Yeah, what is it? Things so, are closer in this one. Yeah, yeah. So that's a true picture. All do, right. Do you know why, why the, the door mirrors are different? No. Because they are convex. So, so the center, so the center mirror is flat. So it is a true picture. So we see everything the way it is in real okay. life. And the uh, uh, door mirrors, or also called convex mirrors, are a bit wider. So you see wider area. So it's better for you to see more and, and to avoid, uh, well, to see more as as much as you can. But still, it can't help to. Uh, to avoid the blind spots, so you still have to check uh, over your left and the right shoulder. Okay. Around, yeah. Yeah. So and also 
uh, in the door mirrors, you see cars because because you see wide area. Uh, you see, do you know? <laughs> okay, you, you would see the cars or or everything else uh, smaller, and it would be it would look much uh, further away than in the center mirror. So. Okay. So that's why we always check them in pairs. So you check center mirror, so you have an idea where exactly the car is and what it's doing. Yeah. And then your right mirror, so you have you, you see wider area. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's the mirrors. And here's a, here's a little picture, like what you can see, like what we what we checked before. So you, when you when you check the blind spot, you can see a lot of stuff you can't see you can't see on your in your. So that's uh, that's the cockpit drill. Uh, now the the controls. So the foot controls. You said already that you know that that's uh, from the left, uh, from the right. What is it? What's that's the like the accelerator. Accelerator, yeah. To go in it. Yeah. What what does it do? What is it for? Speed up. Speed up, yeah. And uh, when you put your foot off the accelerator, it's called deceleration. So it would the car would slow down unless you go down the hill, obviously. Okay, yeah. yeah. And with an accelerator, there is also uh, so. I would I would use the word gas because it's shorter, it's quicker. To, oh, to, yeah. Like if I if I give you instructions, I would tell you oh, like yeah, yeah. Uh, off the gas or on the gas or yeah. accelerate or set the gas. Do you know what set the setting the gas? Press it. Press it just oh, about the thickness of a coin okay. or pound coin. Yeah. So just a little oh. bit. So when I say set the gas, just 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 tiny bit to um, yeah to increase the revolutions. So uh -huh. normally they would be on 800 hops okay, yeah. and you would increase them to 1000 or, or 1200 and and what about the brake what do you know about the brake stop yeah or stop, slow, down. slow down exactly yeah so that will kind of like yeah and the clutch what are we using the clutch for well, you don't see like when you change the gears, isn't it? Ah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. So when you want to change the gear, you, put, you push it down and then you can change gears. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, good. So yeah, so that's why you have to push all the way down to uh, to avoid the stalling. So you push all the way down and you can change the gear. Right. And do you know how the clutch works inside? How it works. How it works. No. So when you depress the clutch fully down, okay, there's this, okay, we have this thing. Do I need to know how it works? Well, would you feel more comfortable if you know actually how it works, to so have an idea how to work it out? Or not? If you think it's helpful, yeah? I I'm think not, it would as help, As long as I yeah. go fix one. I'm not very mechanically minded. Yeah. Yeah. It might be a good idea, it helps many people because uh, okay. they, uh, for instance, when you when you need to when you need to like play with the clutch, when you uh, want to, um, okay. yeah, all right, uh, yeah, you, then, yeah. you'll have a better idea of what is actually happening in the engine. Yeah, and you, as far as it's simplified. Yeah. So um, I normally have this video. Well, I'll try to explain you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Where are we? So obviously there is an engine. And that's connected to the wheels, and that's connected to through the clutch. So, so the connection is basically two, uh, two wheels that I currently there are uh, like the wheels of the car. Do you mean, or um, they are the discs? Oh, okay. Yes. So there are two discs oh, that are actually yeah. connect, connect, make a connection between the wheels and the engine. So the engine spins. Right. So, so one disc is, is oh, spinning yeah. when the engine runs. Yeah. And the other disc is attached to the wheel, so it goes only at the speed uh, of the wheels. So when, when we're stationary, okay, yeah. it's not it's not moving at all. So what we're gonna do before we uh, when we set off, we're gonna have to uh, go uh, with the clutch on to the biting point. Have you heard of it? So mm -hmm. biting point is the point where those two discs are just start to slightly touch. So because oh, okay. the one one disc is moving, they they can't really they can't really go together quickly because do you know what what's going to happen? When, they, yeah, when you stop. Yeah, that's exactly yeah yeah because okay. on one hand 
on one side, the engine really wants to go and the wheels are the stationary, so that's, that's too much pressure. So the engine will just give up. Yeah. So well, when we depress the clutch and then we go slowly up to find the biting, biting point, yeah. that, that way uh, we can then, uh, you can, okay, sorry. First, you will set the gas, which is uh, the thickness of a pound coin, a little bit. And then you will find the biting point. When you find the biting point, then we will, uh, then you can go slowly up and set the gas more, and you will move off. So we're gonna in a, in a minute we'll, we will try it uh, okay, yeah. live. Right. And before we do that, yeah. So there is another thing you have to to do. Have you heard of our POM routine? I don't. POM routine. No. So, okay. I don't know if it's here. Oh, I don't know. But that's supposed to burn some name work. I don't have never heard of that. Right, okay. So, the POM routine will help us to um, to set the car before we go. So, that's uh, POM stands for prepare, observe, and move. So, okay. we will prepare the car, Yeah. Uh, then do the observations, and move off. So, to prepare the car, um, Okay, we can we can actually do it now. Can you can you? It's kind of what you do on your bike, really. Well, let's do that on the cycle proficiency. Yeah. To like get ready and then look, and then if it's safe, you off you go. You might signal for your arm out. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You t so you set you put like your foot on the pedal, and before you get ready, you check everything. You have to go. check you're in a low enough gear to get going. Right. And yeah. You'd look. Yeah. That's pretty much what we do, yeah. yeah so, so, a little gear here. Keep your arm out and then ride off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds similar. Yeah. So, okay. do you know how to start the engine? Can you try? Uh, so, depress the clutch fully this, down. Is it on a button? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, depress the clutch fully down. Yeah. Um, okay, it's it's in neutral. Is it? Uh, do you want to try? Oh, sorry. And so, we can go through that. Yeah, there is a the spring hold. that you can make sure that. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Like that. Okay. Uh, we can try this now, so you can relax your feet. I don't know if the handbrake's on. Uh, you said you see the warning light there. Yeah. Oh, warning light. Okay. The warning light. Oh, so, that's so there's the a handbrake on. Yeah. The hold is there only if you if you just depress the um, brake pedal a bit more when you're on a. Um, junction or something yeah. just to hold hold the vehicle from moving okay, so you yeah. won't roll the car. So do I, do I check that when I get in like do I yeah, that so car? Yeah I actually forgot that so every time you get into the car make sure uh, the handbrake is on okay. and check that lights on and that's yeah yeah and get like, is in, if yeah. you're supposed to be like one of them clicky things. Yeah yeah so that's on it, the fear if it, is it when it's up is that on? That is on yes. Okay. So it's fully on, so you push the button, All right, and it's yeah. on, you release it. All right, yeah. And do you know how to release the brake? When my dad showed so, me, you, yeah. have to, you have to push a button and lower it. And, um, yeah, push the button and pull up a bit. Or yeah, pull up a bit, on, push on the, the button. And the push button, when you just press yeah. it, I assume you just press okay, it. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, never, yeah. She, she, my mum didn't let me have a go at that. She said, mm -hmm. get your hands off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good to... It's good to She's uh, had, she, I've changed gear for before though. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when she's like, when it, you know, driving to say, right, put it in third for me, and I'll put it in third for her. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. That's, that's something. Let me just put it, she ain't let yeah. me drive it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. No, 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 no. So, yeah. what we're going to do is uh, to try uh, to change, to select the gear. So, do you, rem do you remember the palm palming method? Yeah, that. so can you try to put it on the first gear? Yeah, the second gear. Okay, now, now third gear. So this is one of the things. So so when you're in the second gear, you can just, just put it back and make sure it's in, you know, it's in neutral uh -huh. and then push it to the third gear. Because if you have a full gear, you, you're trying to, I, I mean, maybe, are you trying to Put it into this position. This did, position did, I, there. did I not get it in third? Or yeah, you you did. Yeah, oh, okay. that's that's good. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay, right yeah. Then. so so if you do that well, if you if you have the feeling of it, like yeah, that. good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you do that, do you? Yeah, that's a fifth. Yeah, six. Oh, six. oh, right, oh okay. good. So you have a. Yeah. 
Yeah, you, you know that. So that's good. Well, my mum never mentioned Harley. I, I don't know what she does. I'll have to watch, see what she as does. As long as long as long as you you can. Chelsea gets to well. I assume she's getting the right gear. She's been driving yeah. twenty years. So. Yeah, yeah. If you know how to do it properly, maybe maybe it's not visible, but she's trying to do it that way. Okay. It's like you should really. All right, yeah. But yeah, for starters, it's good to to make it clear for yourself, just so you know, because you don't want to stall at the junction or something well, it's hot, when you're it? in the wrong gear. Yeah. Well, I hope we get moving soon. Yes. Woo. Yes. Uh, okay, so um, so to move off, we if you uh, if you just depress the clutch and you can start the engine, just push the button. That's fine. And, yeah, and keep the clutch down. Okay. Yes. Good. Now it's in neutral, so we can release the clutch. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like that one. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, so when we uh when you when you do the observations, where do you look? So we were talking so about the mirrors. Bike, yeah. I ain't got any mirrors, so I look ahead and look over there. Yeah. Oh no, actually sometimes you have to look over there. Yeah. It depends so, where you are. If you're at a T junction turning right, you have to look there because car might come up. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good, yeah. So you all check all around so be uh, yeah. uh you just gotta be and you angle. listen you do a lot of listening on a bike. Uh -huh. to see right, yeah. That's good. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now you can, you can uh, depress the clutch and you down and uh, select the first gear. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, good. And. Um, now, uh, yeah, set the gas. So that's on the thickness of the pipe, just a little bit. Oh, that's, me. Yeah. That's, Oh, it's sensitive. Very, it? pretty sensitive, yeah. So it makes you know that. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, good. Have a go on it, and just, just a little bit, just the thickness of a pound coin, just a little, very little bit. So, and try to freeze it there. So, so, yeah. It's, it's a skill to, to learn how to do this. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's good. It's gonna take it. Yeah. So can you try to keep it there? Oh, there. Yeah, yeah. There, where? Here? Or yeah, there? yeah. That's good. Yeah, for instance. Where is there? Uh, on uh, 1,200, so that's uh, a bit lower than that. Sorry, so where? Sli slightly what? about 1,000. What's so, 1,000? Okay, so, uh, the num so it says... Uh, you looked at this down The numbers, here. yes, yes. All oh, right. So numbers yeah, that, are in 1,000. I was looking at that one. That's, is that the speedo, this one? So that's the speedo, yes. Uh, those oh, yeah, are, I see. Those oh, ones you're up. looking at are oh, yeah. revolutions. So it says times 1,000 in a minute. Uh, in a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So that's number one is one thousand. Ah, two thousand. Yeah. Okay. So where so, should it be? So slightly over one thousand. There. Oh, maybe a bit less. There. It's still the same. A bit less. A bit less, but it's hard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can keep it there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To me, my Yeah, it takes practice a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's very sensitive. Oh, okay. My bad. Uh, so yeah, we just stole the engine because uh, uh, you had it on the first gear. Oh, right. Right, yeah. Sorry. So let's let's do them again. Right. Okay. So yeah, uh, let's. <laughs> no, not that again. I nearly knocked myself out. Oh, sorry. Oh, it Just feel like I've been hit by Mike Tyson. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. My fault. I, yeah, kept, sorry. I, I kept you too long. I didn't know why. What did I do? We not? were playing too much with that, so I'll try to do it again. Was it, what, did, what happened though? Did you do something or what happened? So, um, no, what, what happened is because you released uh, the left foot, so you put the clutch up fully. So, what I was what I was talking about, the, the two players together. You didn't do it before though, didn't you? Pardon? When I brought the clutch up before that, didn't happen? Because, we, you, because you weren't in gear. That was All right. I so I told you already to, to put the gear there, so it was in the gear, that's what happened. So, so. I just thought, because I did it before, nothing happened. I thought, uh -huh. I, my foot was aching, so I thought I'd just have a little rest yeah. for a Yeah, sorry, yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. So if it's in gear, don't do that, don't put the patch up. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Alright, okay. Whew. Yeah, maybe jump, sorry. Mm -hmm. Good to know that. Yeah. Right, so... Um, if you can uh, to start the engine again, so put the clutch down. Clutch down. Yes. And start and press this. Yes. Take those off. Yeah. Uh, Good. 
about that in the Uh, not yet. So now, um, uh, select the first gear. Okay. Yeah. In there, yeah. Yeah, All good. Right, yeah. And now set the gas a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And now when you try to put slowly clutch up, like in slow, slow, very slow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you can try that again. And now, now you go like very slowly, like in centimeters. Oh, and yeah. Okay. okay, so so again, so close down, first gear. That is it, is it on? Gone off. Is it that be on or? Uh, yes. Uh, can you put the handbrake on? That one. Yeah, okay, thank you. Ah, oh. uh, yeah. I heard it. It's that arm spell. Okay. Right. You hear it? Going like that. Yes, yes, that's not like a yeah. whiny cat. Yeah, so uh, now uh, set, the, set the gas a little bit. The gas. So I ain't got to do that then? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, first sorry, gear. I've got before the parts yeah, that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So what am I doing? Press the gas? Uh, no, so, uh, first gear first. No, no, first gear. Oh. Come out, Ralph. Yeah, this is just have a faster. Have a break. Have a break. I'm so hot. I know. Oh. It's bloody 30 degrees. Because I know, but I did this like well, and suddenly I don't know I'm what to do. Why? Roasting. Okay, uh, so. I'm overheated. Let's turn that off for a second. Yes, please. Do you know what? I would have. Do you know what I would have parked in that shade? Yeah, you know, that's, okay, that's, that's, a, that's a thing. Yeah. I'd have gone round the block, I'd have got him in, in a better shade under a tree. Mm -hmm. That would have made a whole lot of difference. Honestly, they're, they're the little things. Yeah. That you do learn, especially if you've got a static car. Uh -huh. So, so for that, I'm good. I'm going to move. Yes, so please. Yeah. Have a chat. Because um, <laughs> it does. It's so hot. So I'm not in roll. Yeah, that's okay. And then we can, we're going to put it there, or down. Well, actually, we put it down there in the shape uh -huh. of it. And um, and then I just give you just a little. Chance, have a breather. Now I see what what can go wrong. There's so much that can go wrong because when I rehearse it myself, it's so easy in my head. So you know, you've got you've got, you've got you've got all the knowledge, all yeah, that good content. Does this people need all of that? Today? So it's just got too much. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. That was blood, wasn't it? That was to the point, that answer. Was it too much? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're good, yeah, I need to know. Well, this he's quite capable, isn't he? He's, he seems to know stuff. Yeah, so... Do you know what? You're mm -hmm. gonna, I'm going to show you a video yep. I recorded yesterday. Alright. With, with a, a, chat, a PDI who... I mean, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Okay. Who, um, well, I loved it. Who, can you believe this? They brought a pupil to me for an observation. He, uh, I haven't seen him since lockdown. This PDI turns up. And he said, I've got a pupil. First ever lesson. Pupil, little Josh. Yeah. Never driven. Yeah. He's driven in a car park. And he did that lesson. Yeah. Along there. And uh, you've got to watch it. It's just. Okay. He did the PDI did really well, right. and and you'll see there's some things that he could have done better, obviously, because he's still learning. Yeah. Um, and I'm not saying that to like sell you that's bad. It's just to to adapt to the I know stuff. And you think yeah. there are things like you know when we do our training, I'll go. So the handbrake is on, but I just had a sensation of a car rolling then, but it oh, didn't, yeah. did it? I just thought, oh, we're rolling. Yeah. No, no. Do that, kill down the system, done. Right, so um, so you've got all this knowledge, the Dutch reach and all of this stuff here, and we need to sort of think what this people wants to do. I want to drive, mm -hmm. and that clock is ticking and ticking yeah. and ticking, and I'm not going to get to do much driving if, you know, I talk too much. And, and and if you watch this video, this guy, he had him driving in, I think, 20 minutes. 
Mm. And he drove and he drove and he, he, he was, this little pupil did left junctions, right junctions. Oh, wow. He was really good. He was mm. like good. And because he was so capable, and he just got him off going. She's done it. Now, I, I wasn't playing the guy that had driven in a car park, admittedly. Yeah, so, all these things, you know, all these things like the Dutch streets, goods, yeah. If you, if you, on your first lesson, you create a good first impression and get them driving and it's safe, then all this other good stuff, all this stuff, can come out in later lessons, like when it's windy. Let's, you know, let's say right. I'm on lesson five now and it's blowing a, a hoolie. Okay. And then you can say, oh, how do you know, just, just something I've just thought of. It's windy today. Have you ever, you can even do it at the end of the lesson. Mm -hmm. If you're about to get out of the car, have, um, yeah, have you ever got out of the car when it's windy? Yeah, what happened? Oh, wind blows it. So what's the problem with that? Well, it can wreck your door. My mum told me off at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you do to control it? Well, I'd use both hands. Yeah. Okay, have you heard of the Dutch streets? What? No? What's that? Oh, that's this thing. Da -da -da. Oh, oh, I didn't know you. Okay. Then it's like, that's when he's talking to his mates or his mum or whatever. They're like, have you heard of the Dutch streets? No? I don't know. And they explain it. Because, yeah, my driving instructor told me that. They go, mm -hmm. bloody on one one, don't tell me any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's a, no, it's a little, that little extra, that little nugget of thing. But is it really important today on this hot, sunny okay. day? So it's quite a kind of relevance. It's like, is everything there relevant to me? Okay. So yeah, you're going through and demonstrating good knowledge. But from my point of view, the pupil's point of view, I'm like, can I drive soon, please? <laughs> and just like get on with it. Yeah. So the drive to location, you could have used that time to talk about the clutch and how that was working, what you were doing with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, have, yeah. I, I would encourage them to change gears for me and have a go but now with the old Covid thing it's like that's why I didn't want to touch the gears mm -hmm. so I'm like well if I do people watching the video go away oh, clean well, that, yeah, sure. okay. so um, so, the, so that's why I was you know because we would I would get them having a go you know mm -hmm. do stuff here yeah. I wouldn't get them touching the pedals this guy yesterday did yeah. I think oh, I wouldn't do that I don't know why I wouldn't do that. I just thought maybe it's because I've never done it. Um, but you got him to break for him just once when he comes to stop. Didn't know. I thought there's no bother in it. I was, oh, okay, fair enough. He got off a sense of the brake. Yeah. I was just thinking it'd probably be better to use this because they, they're different heights and it all feels different. Mm. But anyway, it's that's irrelevant, really. So, um, so that's. Yeah, I w I'd want to get him moving sooner much sooner yeah. and um yeah do the cockpit drill because like you did the cockpit drill twice you did it when you did it yeah you did it here yeah. oh. that was not really mm. and um yeah it just say it just not shaves minutes off yeah i was also want i i wanted to do a lot more stuff on the way here i was like i was not sure what exactly can i show you and i didn't practice that and yeah so what, what I would do, if this was the start of the lesson, and on the way I would have talked about, so uh, yeah, tell us about your bike, where to ride on, yeah, like, really get into it. And you were kind of questioning me on that. I'd really want to know stuff. So your bike got gears, you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah I, I just, yeah, I would want to mm. just know a lot more. Yeah. You know, well, what's your mum drive? What's your dad drive? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it manual? Is, you know, so I'm truly really oh, trying to find out what they've seen. Yeah, yeah. Because then I can relate it to... Mm -hmm. You know, so now I've found out that the mum's got electronic handbrake. Because I was giving you that information. Yeah. I was sort of saying, oh, my mum's got this and da 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 da. Mm. I was volunteering that information. Yeah. I, but your pupils might just sit quiet and you've got to dig it out. Mm -hmm. The relevancy, get the more relevant stuff, the more mm -hmm. sort of tailored that lesson's going to be yeah. to their needs. That's sort of really the point I'm trying to say. Mm. So you'd have to question was, was windy day. Uh, really necessary sure. when I okay. want to drive yeah. in a hot. Yeah, you, know, you said it, that last just, time. Because, melted. Yeah, so, I did that um, wrong before. Like I was very irrelevant, and now I tried to, to try to do it quicker. And I felt like, yeah, you just need yes. to move off. So if you're gonna do it, just do it nice and quick. Yeah, you kind of just I pick think... what you think's relevant at the time. Because if you put it all in, 
Mm. Then you, you can, I would say you could quite happily talk to me about stuff mm. without driving for three hours. I, I reckon that would be possible mm. to get all your information out to me. Yeah. And I'd, but of course, it's not what I want. I want to drive, don't I? Yeah. So, um, so that would be something to be mindful. Yeah, you're early stage, you're early into this, you know. So you're all right, you're doing all right. You know, the knowledge is, is number one, isn't it? Having that knowledge. I guess um, that's the problem because I have a problem in my head. Is, I'm trying to. But yeah, it's good. Yeah. Exactly. It's sometimes harder to deliver, to deliver the shortened version than the full version. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, because you have to think what, so what is relevant, what isn't relevant, and let's do that. So, um, so, yeah, on the clutch, I would have, just, I would have you know, explained that and said, like, you know, do you know about the clutch? Because you started that conversation, what are the pedals? I think I got to the gas and you switched conversation. I never got to finish. Oh, did I? I didn't even know. So oh. I said, oh, because then I thought, if you got to clutch, you can say, do you know what the clutch does? Yeah, so it's to do with changing gears. Because, okay. Uh -huh. Then I would just say, briefly, you know, without getting too technical with you, yep. you know, I'll, I'll explain how the clutch works because it's really important to know if you know how it works, you know how to use it, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's how I would talk to my pupils. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't talk to them any differently than I'm talking to you. Sure. I I think sometimes people talk to pupils like they're stupid just because they're 17. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. Like, can you understand me? <laughs> yeah. Can yeah. you, do you know how to open a door? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they, it, it kind of gets really dumbed down from, and yeah, mm. they haven't got the experience that, that we've got and all that, and of course they won't know stuff. So you do have to tell it. It's kind of like, you know, I, I would, I'm, I'm just saying, I would talk to someone, like you're, if you watch with Joshy, because I started talking, mm. Joshy, can I ask you a question? You know, what are you, you going to do now? What are you thinking? Do you think you should check them mirrors, Joshy? Why, why? Oh yeah, because this could be a motor, he rides a motorbike. Mm -hmm. Could be a, yeah, exactly. So you're gonna yeah. do it on the next one then? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, good. Well done. You know, stuff. So I've just report because yeah. because they want you want them to book another lesson with you. That's the main thing as well. <laughs> you want them coming back. So yeah, I would have just split, explain like yeah, get to the clutch. So do you know how it works? The plates. You know, so you know when you're in the clutch, shut up. Look, look, I'll show you. Just let show you. I'll show you. Look, mm -hmm. basically, once it started, so what I did then, I checked the handbrakes on. I check it's in neutral because mm -hmm. these these this clutch when I push it down imagine these two plates right yeah they're, at the moment they're connected I push yep. them down they separate this this one okay. is joined to the engine so the engine's turning yeah. this one's joined to the wheels the wheels are static not moving so if I put the clutch up look nothing's happened I put the clutch up but they don't quite connect that's the job of the gear mm -hmm. if I put a gear in there now. These are my visual aids. So now I've, I've, pressed the, I've put the clutch down to open up these plates. And now we've just slid a gear in. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to bring the clutch up now and just listen, because I'm going to bring up about halfway and the plates will touch on that gear. Yep. And you will hear a noticeable change in the engine noise. And you might even feel it. You might even see the top of the car, just the bonnet raise up a little yeah. bit. So if I just be quiet, I'm just going to bring, bring the clutch up slowly. It's always slowly up. I want you to tell me when you hear or feel notice and change and just say stop. So over to you. Mm -hmm. I'll even turn the fan down so you can hear a bit more. We'll put it back up after this. So now you can hear. Look, I'm just going to slowly release the clutch. You tell me to stop. Stop. There. Now my foot is dead still. Mm -hmm. If I push it down, feel it. Oh. And up. There. Feel mm -hmm. that? Yeah. You can feel it, can't you? Uh -huh. Even if you had a dry ocean, oh. even if you were dead, you would still feel this. The, yeah. the cars vibrating and then down, feel that? And visually, you can see it. Look mm -hmm. at the front of the car. Yeah. So that's the bike point. So now I want to take it out of gear. And so now I can bring that clutch up because mm -hmm. I've removed the thing that's it's biting on. Yeah. And they, the, the, the plates don't connect. Oh. So the gears make the car go, basically. Mm -hmm. So if I gave you cross contamination gear two, so let's say there's gear one in, no, get another gear. So we're driving down. 
Next Gear one, the, now, when, when we get the buyer point, the other thing I didn't say, so I'm backtracking there, the other thing I didn't say is that we, when we bring the clothes up all the way, now we lock that gear in and uh. make a proper connection. Yeah. So when I accelerate, the car's going to go faster. I think, yeah. So if I want to gauge gear two, you've got gear two, uh -huh. what do I physically need to do to make that happen? What do I need to do with the clutch pedal? Uh, push it down so you will separate So I push it down and I open up. Yeah. And now what do you need to do to get it? To change the gear. That's it. You take gear one out, gear two out, oh. put gear yeah. two in using that. Oh yeah. And then what you need to do to make that car go again? I'll put them together. And how are you going to do that? Are you going to bring the foot up quickly or slowly? Slowly. Slowly. What would happen if you did it quickly? Do you think? It'll stall. Could. Mm -hmm. Or... It does that. Oh dear. Have you ever seen a car kangaroo in? Where well, all your mates, yeah. any mates learning to drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. seen they, them? They, they were afraid of that, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what they've done. They bring the clutch up too quick and the clutch... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. And do you think that's good for the car? The gearbox and the engine? This is damaging it. It's very bad. Yeah. So we're not going to do none of that today. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Because you can, you know, you, especially with these high tech modern cars with all the gadgets and electronics, sometimes you can upset the electrics and you have to take it to the garage to get it, have a reset. And, mm -hmm. No, I mean, it's happened to me several times. So I would say that. In fact, you can keep that for you and your mates. Mm -hmm. Do that. Okay. Okay, so um, so that's what I do. So, so then I'll show you. So, so right. So what I'm going to do? So we're going to get going now. So I'm going to put it in gear one. So now there's a gear in. Yeah. In turning. Yeah. I'm not going to do it now because if you look in that mirror, what, what's coming that's going to prevent me from going? A bus. A bus. So I'm looking for. So while I'm sitting here, I'm looking for a gap. Uh huh. I've got it in gear. My right foot's going to go over the gas. Uh -huh. And if you look at the right dial. See, it's just sitting below the one. Yep. When I want to go, I just set it a little bit between the one and the two, like that. Do you okay. hear that? Mm -hmm. Is that off the gas? On the gas. Yeah. That's my right foot. Now I'm going to get that bite. There. Got mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So. My feet are locked in. I'm prepared. Yeah. Look. Clutch up slowly. A little bit of gas, and away we go. So now I need to go to second gear. So I'm going to come off the gas. Put the clutch down. You can put it in seconds. Cross the tail don't worry about it. I'm going to bring the clutch up. Feel that? It's in second gear, well, second. okay. Now I can press the gas again. So if I come off the gas, touch down, you can put it in gear three for me. I'll bring the clutch up. Uh -huh. Now I notice there, when you're doing that, because you're not driving, you can look at that. Look at how I change gear. Look, I'm going to go to second gear, I'm going to check my mirrors, I'm going to brake, clutch, and look where, look where my eyes are when I change gear. Okay. On the road, so don't ever look at that. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to find a way so you can learn where they are without looking. Mm -hmm. Today, when we start, we're just going to get you gear one, gear two, keep it simple. But I reckon, you know, if you, that's the guy. If you get on with it, well, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how you get on. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's see where you go with that. Okay. Blah, blah. Anyway, so that, so that yeah. <laughs> So now I would sort of say to them, now look at my feet, I'm breaking. Yeah. I'm going to be stopping. So if I try and stop, I won't actually do that. So I'll do that now. Bad place to try and demonstrate that. So I'll do that again. So now if you look at my feet now, I'm going to pull up just after this sign. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming off the gas. I'm going to check my mirrors. I'm going to put a little signal on, let everyone know what I'm doing. I'm going to go over to the brake. But I haven't pressed that brake yet. And the car, because it's in gear, it's just pulling along. It's not, uh -huh. Even though we're going uphill, look, that car just pulls along. Yeah. Pulling, 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 pulling. So now I'm going to brake. And now I'll show my brake lights. In fact, a bad idea. Look, we've got a junction. Don't want to park near there. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go past the junction. I'm going to update my mirrors. And now I'm going to bring in the brakes. And the car's pulling me. So I've got to disconnect the engine to the wheels by putting mm -hmm. the clutch down. And now I can ease off the brakes and let the car just roll. Yeah. And then I can just touch the brakes again, very gently, and then we stop. So my clutch is down, my foot's on the brake. So now that engine's still running, yep. but the wheels are stopped, because I've got my foot on the brake, so the wheels are like solid, they won't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And so once I've stopped, there's three things I've got to do. Can you think what I've got to do now? Uh, like a handbrake? Yeah, so if I, that's good, the handbrake first. That's so I'm going to put that on, I'm going to do that on that button here. 
So now, press the handbrake on which foot can I relax now? The brake. Which foot's no longer needed? Um, that one. Right, so now I have to right come off that one. Uh -huh. Can I take my foot off that one yet? You're in gear. Ah, that's what I need to do. Because it's going to uh, stall, so you need to get it into neutral. So I'm going to do that and let it just right. centre into the middle. Uh -huh, okay. So now I'm out of gear, so now I can bring that clutch pedal off hmm. and relax. There's one more thing I need to do. Yeah. Check it each oh, indi indicator. That's that. Mm. So when we stop, we do three things. We just put the handbrake on, we take it out of gear into neutral, and we cancel the signal. Okay. Sometimes I would just say to you, secure the car. Secure the car means those three things. All right. So oh, if okay. I say secure the car, mm -hmm. at first I'll talk you through till you get those three things. Yes. Okay. And later on in lessons, I'll just say secure the car, and that includes turning that signal. Right. Good. Mm. So now we're going to swap over. I'm going to get you in this seat. Mm -hmm. Before I do that, there's just a couple of things I'm going to do. Yeah. I want to take my seatbelt off, obviously. Could, have you ever seen anyone get out of a car without taking their seatbelt off? Um, they will. Oh, see, humour. See, I yeah. would have humour. Yeah, sure. Good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, anyway, carpet drills done. We've explained the controls on the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I want you to do, I want to give, give you a little explanation on how to move off and how to stop. And we're mm -hmm. going to do that here. Because we're going to drive off in first gear, drive a short distance, and then we're going to pull up on the left. And you'll get bonus points if you pull up in a shady bit. Oh, okay, yeah. I like that. Don't worry if you pull up in the sun, because we won't be there too long. So, um, mm -hmm. but seriously, you'll get bonus points if you pull up in the shade. So, um, but not near a driver or junction, which there I know. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, right, well, let's just explain it to you. So, when we move off, we're going to use a little acronym called POM. P O M. Are you a visual learner? Do you like to see pictures or can I just explain? Yeah, no pictures, yeah. Yeah, I'm a visual learner too. I like to see things. Where the hell? Hang on a minute. Oh, it's there. What's there? Oh, oh it's my other book. Sorry, I'm looking for another page that don't exist. It is here. Look, right in front of my eyes. So what we're going to do is moving off. That's our objective, to move off safely and to stop. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about stopping separately. Yeah. So when we move off, we do three things. We prepare, we observe, we move. That's the P-O-M, the POM routine. Mm -hmm. So when we prepare... What you're going to do, and I'll get you to do this in a minute, is you're going to put your clutch down, you're going to put it in first gear, and your left foot's going to get the bite point. Just like you just did, because we just did that. Yeah. We had a little dry run, little practice. Okay. You're going to keep that left foot still. Your right foot's going to cover the gap, mm -hmm. and just cover it, but don't press it yet. Okay. That's your feet. And you're locking the feet in. Okay? Yeah. You'll keep them nice and still. Mm -hmm. Then you'll put your left hand, if you had a handbrake normal one, you'd put your hand on the oh, handbrake. Yeah, yeah. But you don't need to on this one. You can put your own hands on the wheel. Mm -hmm. This car's magic. Okay. So you can put your hands on the wheel. Um, and you are prepared. Okay. Then we come to the observe. Yep. So we're going to make look ahead, look in your centre mirror, look in your right mirror. And I'm going to ask you, is there a safe gap? So if you do that now, is there a safe gap? Could you move off now? Is it yeah, safe? You know. Yeah. Well, there's a car coming. There's a car coming. Would we affect that car? He's a bit wide. Yeah. The, oh, yeah, very wide. Good. So, yeah, I wouldn't have moved off then either because oh, he yeah. was on the wrong side of the road. So, we'd be mindful of that. Mm -hmm. And also, if you look in your right mirror, is there a junction over there behind you? Well, he's going into some junction. Yeah. So, so we'd be looking at those three things, out of front, centre mirror, right mirror. Mm -hmm. When it's safe and you've identified a gap, a safe gap, I want you to do a six-point check. Which six-point check is once over the left shoulder. Yep. Not so relevant here because you're looking at a hedge, but if there were driveways, mm -hmm. entrances, you'd want to look. Yeah. So that's one over the shoulder. In the mirror, two down mm -hmm. the footpath, hedge. Yeah. So on this occasion, you wouldn't really need to. But I want you to. Mm -hmm. So one, two, ahead again, three in the mirror, four in the mirror. And then finally, where do you the six point would be? And it's the most important one. The blind spot. That's it. And why do we check the blind spot? Well, because we can't see it in the mirror. Or, yeah. Very good. That's it. So then we've done our six point check. So now we've prepared, we've observed. Mm -hmm. It's safe. 
So, and I'll be asking you that, is it safe? Mm -hmm. And if it is, we're going to go to the move. So traditionally in a car, the handbrake would now release. But to do it on this car, all you need to do is set the gas. Once okay. you press that gas to the one and a half that we showed you, the handbrake automatically releases. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay. And then once that, once you've done that, the clutch is going to come up slowly, 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 mm -hmm. all the way up. The car's moving. You're going to check your centre mirror, right mirror, and if it's still safe, you're going to steer away from the curves. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to go like that car is about a metre from the curves. Okay. If at any point I need to jump in and help you, let's say you, you think it's safe and it's not, I'll tell you to wait. So I might give you a verbal instruction to wait. Mm -hmm. um, if there's no time or you're not in control of the car, then I've got my pedals, I can stop the car. If mm. it's a steering issue, like you're wandering on the other side of the road or going into the curb, I'd come in and touch the steering wheel. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. So I'm not going to try and touch you, I'm just, I'm only doing that for your safety. Okay. Yeah, so now we're driving down the road. You can play along with this, pretend you're driving, put your yeah. hands on the steering wheel, right foot will be on the gas, okay? And just put, put in first gear for us, just clutch down on first gear. All right, and now bring the clutch up. You're driving along, pretending. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to be stopping, so we're going to use another routine. Three letters, MSM. You know what it stands for? Oh, the mirrors and something. Mirror signal and manoeuvre. Manoeuvre. So we're going to use that little system to pull up. So you're going to check centre mirror, left mirror. Just look for them pesky cyclists that come up the left mm -hmm. side of you, okay? okay? Then you're going to signal. Can you remember where the signals are? Yeah, that's that goes down. That's it. And you can just cancel that now, just because we don't want it left on. Mm -hmm. So you're going to mirror signal, and then this is what your feet are going to do. Your right foot's going to come off that gas pedal and cover the brake. So when I say cover the brake, just touch it, but don't press it. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Then I'll say left foot cover the clutch. Left foot cover the clutch. Okay. So that's it. So now at that point, the car's engine braking, it's starting to slow without you doing anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you can start to steer back towards the curb, to the position you're in now. Mm -hmm. Now, how are you going to judge getting close to this curb? So, like, can where you am now? Yeah, where would you look to see the curb so you don't go up there? Um, on the dashboard? On the door? Yeah. Hood. Okay, so this is, this is the position we want to finish in, near oh, the yeah. curb. So, if you look at the curb, it's intersecting somewhere on your dashboard. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Sort of on the edge. Oh, a lot of my yeah, students there. tell me it's there on that edge. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Sort of is there. it the same for mm -hmm. you? That's handy. So use that. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to slide up the curb with that. Again, if I think you're getting in close, I'll jump in with mm -hmm. a little steer. And you're not going to hit the curbs today or any day. Okay. Fair. That's just not a thing. Not. We don't do that. Okay. So then you're nice and straight. And then I want to say to you with your right foot, just gently press the brake like a millimetre, mm -hmm. tiny little bit, and that just show the brake lights and slow the car. Mm -hmm. Then I want to say, to that, uh, what are you doing with your feet? Left foot cover clutch. I didn't oh, yeah. move feet, oh, did okay. I? Sorry. I jest, I yeah. jest. <laughs> but, no, but that would be important. When we're driving, you listen to me, because okay. I want your feet where they are now, mm -hmm. so there's no little mistakes. Mm -hmm. You don't want any surprises. So you're pressing the brake gently, and then I want to say to you, push the clutch all the way to the floor. That's it. And that can go down quickly. Mm -hmm. And then you'll break another millimetre and another until you stop. Once you've stopped, you're going to put the handbrake on, like I showed you earlier. Yeah. Then you're going to take it out oh, here. Yeah. So you can do that. And then you can rest your feet. And there's one other thing you'd have to do. It would be cancel the signal. But we've already oh, done that. Okay. So that's the words I'm going to be using. That's the instruction you're going to hear. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk you through the first one because you've not done this before. Okay. I reckon after two or three goes of me helping you, I reckon you'll be taking a much more responsibility in doing this on your own. Mm -hmm. How's that sound? Okay, good, yeah. All right, so Sounds we've good. got our first objective, to move up and stop. Two objectives. Okay. Two at once. And I'll be helping you. So I'm going to give you a full talk through. So what I'd like if you to do is um, just check the handbrakes on, check neutrals. Yeah. Yeah. Clutch down, start engine. Great. Keep your left foot on the floor. Mm -hmm. Are you sure that's comfortable? 
No one. Uh, see, I see. see. Do you know what? I knew that one. Comfortable. Are you comfortable? Do you need to move your seat? I need to reach it, reach a bit more. Have you got a bend in your knee? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you're comfortable? Oh uh, no, I'm, I have to reach a bit, so I would probably move my seat a bit. Forward. I can't. Yeah. The thing is, uh, the point I'm making, I can't tell if you're comfortable. Yep. Okay. Try it like that. If we get Gary and you're struggling with the clutch control, mm-hmm. then we'll adjust your seat. It's a bit like trying on a pair of shoes. You have a little walk around first. Yeah. Look, if it feels comfortable now, it might not be when you get moving. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, we'll just sort of see how you get on with that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so select first gear. Right foot cover gas. Don't press it yet. Because okay. you'll release that handbrake if you mm-hmm. do. Left foot come up to the bike, like you've been doing. And then when you get there, keep your feet still. A little bit more. There. Oh. Keep them feet nice and still now. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can put both hands on the steering wheel and maybe put your a finger under the indicator ready for a signal if we need one. Okay? Yeah. So that you are prepared. Now mm-hmm. we're going to observe. So I want you to look ahead, centre mirror, right mirror. Is it safe? There's a car coming. That's it. So we'll wait. What about now? Another car's coming. So we'll wait. Are your feet okay waiting? Yeah. Okay, let me know if they ache. Look ahead, centre mirror, right mirror, is it safe? Uh, yeah. Agreed. Look all round, six point check, left to right. Yeah. Set the gas, pop a signal on. Set the gas, more, gas there. Catch up slowly, 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 slowly. 